this. I could ring the police. Right, so can we please just get going and take me to the clinic while it's still time? I can't, even the thought of oh, it is of makes... course you can. Don't be so pathetic. It's me that's doing this, not you. Yeah, because of me. Because of how I've messed right, up. Right, it doesn't matter why I'm doing this. What matters is I've given my word and I've promised. We've taken Owen's money. They'll be sat there wondering where we are. Well, and you could do it. You could actually go into that clinic and have... <laughs> have someone else's kid just yeah, put in. Yeah, I could. Well, I could do it if you want stuck here. It's got to go in inside you. Oh, Tommy, we've been through all this. Yeah, well, you might be able to do it, but I can't. It's all right you sat there saying it's not me that has to do it, but I'm going to have to be there with you watching you go through the whole thing. Uh, well, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, well, I can't, Tina. And I, I know I've said all this before and, and you've talked me around, but not this time. I knew this would happen. She'll be here. Gary, she's not here. And if she was coming, she'd have made sure she was on time, because she knew what we'd be thinking, even if she was a minute late. Like we're thinking now. I'm going to ring her. All right, just be careful what you say, yeah? Because we need to keep her on side, yeah? I do know that. So what it comes down to, if I go ahead with this and you're going to leave me... Well, I haven't said that. No, you don't need to. <sighs> it's them. What am I supposed to say? You're not going to do no, it? No, I can't. How, how can I? How can I say that when I have promised her? Go on, then. Go on, you tell her. All right, yeah, if you want me to. No, I don't. Go on, if I was to go ahead with it. I'm asking you not to. No, but if I do, then you're going to leave me. Well, not because I want to, Oh, no. thanks. So what, you just want me to lie to you, then? No. You said you wouldn't do this if I weren't happy with it. OK, so now I'm saying I'm not happy with it, no, and I never will be. No, what I'm saying is, if I do do it, then you're going to leave me. I might have to, yeah. <laughs> have you tried contacting the surrogate? Yeah, she's uh, not answering her phone. I see. Well, the appointment was for 2 o'clock, so... so... That's it, is it? We've had it. You've missed your slot for today, yes. But there's always... I'll never forgive her. I don't care hey, what hey, she will you just, Will you just listen? There's always tomorrow. Yeah? The embryos we've taken will remain viable for at least another 24 hours, so... We can come back. If the surrogate's willing to go ahead... Which she's not, cos otherwise she'd be here. Well, we can talk to her. Yeah, there's... There's got to be a reason. There is. She's changed her mind. Yeah, and she might change it back again. I have been in this situation before. And I've seen the same people come back the day after with the surrogate. Really. And I bet you've seen it happen where they never come back. But there's still a chance. Talk to the receptionist. Make a provisional appointment for tomorrow and good luck. Cheers. Why don't you just say straight off instead of putting us through this? I don't know. What do you want, Kevin? Sophie says she wants to talk to him. What about? Don't ask me. I'm just a messenger. So you come in or what? Yeah, OK. Are you sure, though, Ryan? Sophie wants to talk to me, then I've got to go. What's for sure? You do know we'll have to pay him back all the money. Yeah, and we will. Ah, oh, we never heard that before. All right, we won't. I will. My debts, I'll repay them. You know, it's not even about the money. It's the fact that I promised her. I let her think that I was willing to help, and now I'm going to... Tommy, I can't. Well, you won't have to. I'm going to tell them that it was me that made you change your mind. Made me? What, or persuaded you, Well, yeah. it's still my decision, isn't it? My body, my decision. I thought it might have been our decision. You know, one that we might make together. You wouldn't even know I was pregnant half the time. You don't want to be for the last couple of months. Look, I don't care if you only be one week. Tina, I don't want you carrying someone else's baby.
Large coffee, please, Roy. Certainly. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Working with Mary, you nearly drove me around the twist. Oh, well, I know that feeling. Yeah, but I've told Roy, in that one week she was helping me run this place, the taking shot up. Well, it so did the standard of the food, if you don't mind me saying so. Hey, I don't, Dennis, because I've told him that and all. Well, maybe somebody else should say it. Roy? Uh, yes? We were just saying how good Mary was. Uh, yes, but she wasn't doing the job she was supposed to be doing. So she showed initiative, all credit to her. On the night we dined here, the food was as good as we've had anywhere. Told you. More than once. Never mind sacking her, you want to put her in charge. Look, I can assure you, it is not going to happen again. Once was more than enough. One large coffee, one pound eighty, thank you. Thanks. Good cooks don't grow on trees. Yeah, well, you've made your point. Yeah, well, it's no use, cos he won't listen. I am listening, I am not agreeing. Well, I think that's a pity. So do I. Yeah, me too. Is it, ma'am? I just persuaded her to go out for some fresh air. Is it, anyway? Hi, how are you? Hi. Just don't ask me how I am. No. And don't ever forget, this is all thanks to you. I, I, I do know that. Dad, do you mind leaving us alone for ten minutes, please? What? You want me to leave you with him? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, why do they have to go on and on? Yeah, I must like the sound of their own voices. Well, I'm sick of them. I'm not even halfway through the agenda. Do you fancy a drink after? I fancy a drink now. Yeah, yeah definitely. And then we can have that chat we said we'd have. Oh, and unless you feel you ought to get back home to your family. What do you think? <laughs> So would you rather try to kill yourself? No. Didn't look like it. <laughs> Not from where I was standing. From there it looked daring, romantic. Something out of a film. He was the main star, was you? Yeah. Except what I really was, was the idiot. Out of and coke. Makes you do crazy things. And this is all cos what? Tracy dumped you? Yeah. That coming after everything else. What's everything else? The, the, the way I'd made a mess of everything, failed uni, there's no point to anything. Until Tracy came along and then, wow, even better, she, she tells me she's pregnant. It, it was like, great. I, I knew what I was doing at last, what, what I had to do. And only then, of course, to find out I wasn't. So, went way down again, back to the coke. Have you had any since my accident? No. Promise. So, so, so I might lie to other people, my mother, but not to you. Because all this by you, it's not half for nothing. Some good has got to come out of it, and that's that you don't ever, ever take drugs again. No, I, I won't. I swear I won't. <laughs> Look at me and say it. I swear I won't. OK, then. So from I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I'm so tired, Ryan. I can't tell you. Do you, do you want me to go? I just want you to stop blaming yourself. I've forgiven you, Ryan. You need to do the same. So you haven't even heard from her? No. She got faces, couldn't she? Well, you don't know that. I know she wasn't there. I don't believe it. He keeps making excuses for her. No, I don't. I just think we should wait till here. It'll be him. He'll be the one that stopped her. Tommy. I thought this morning he was all wound up. But you still don't know that. Shut up. Shut up. It's them. Yeah? It's me. Where were you? I can't... I can't do it, is it? I'm sorry, but... Then why did you say you would? Do you think this has felt like for me? I know. Look, I, I'm so, so sorry. Let us come round to explain. It has felt like torture. Give me it. Do you know what else, Tina? I have never felt so dependent on other people as I have today. Do you know another thing? I have never felt so let down. <laughs>
can't they come round straight away? I think Tina was upset. What a shame. Is it look, you know what the doctor said? Yeah, there's still a chance. No, there ain't, because she ain't gonna change her mind. So will you stop saying that she is? He's right though, love. You need to listen to what they've got to say. Yeah, and you want us to be with you, you know, me and your dad. Is he? I don't care who's here, because it ain't gonna make any difference, is it? <sighs> Now then, young man. Yes, excuse me. Of course. I was wondering what you were doing tomorrow evening. Because I would love to take you out for dinner. While I've still got the strength, which I suspect won't be for very much longer. Well, I better make sure I'm free then. You could do that now. Hello, Audrey, love. Gloria? It's lovely to see you. <sighs> Please. Yeah. Oh, I'll do that. Give you two the chance to catch her. Yes, that might be useful. Tell me the matter. That's what I was wondering. Uh, let's wait till we're sure nobody else is listening in, shall we? <clears throat> there we are. Oh, life saving. <laughs> Did we really spend an hour discussing wet playtime? At least. And then we didn't decide anything. Deirdre, sorry, I'd better... Oh, of course you better. Hello? Hi, Ken. Um, we are about ready to eat. Are you going to be joining us? You're ready to eat? Um, oh, I'm not sure. You're probably best to go ahead without me. Well, you're not still in that meeting, are you? No, no. I just think it might be better if I ate out. I'm sure you've got Tracy to keep you company. Well, uh, as it happens, I'm glad to say I have. Yes. Uh, enjoy your evening. He's eating out. Right. Is that because of me? It's because he wants to, so he's doing it. Right. Do you know I hate falling out with him? Oh, I don't mind. I'm not used to it. But you know something? I can't actually remember the last time I did anything that pleased him. Neither can I. We have to keep on trying, don't we? Oh, hello. I've come to offer my sincere apologies for any harm I might have caused you or your business. That's all uh, water under the bridge. I feel like I've upset everybody. And all I ever wanted to do was give them an evening of good food and companionship. <laughs> Which you did. It's a great success from what I'm hearing. Uh, yes. Too high a cost. Oh, hello. And what are you up to? I'm apologising. It's perhaps not an activity you might be familiar with. Uh, Mary, will you just hang on while I deal with these customers? Carly, could you bring Mary a drink on the house? I've got a proposition for you. What sort of proposition? <laughs> yeah, hang on. I'll tell you in a minute. He must know I'm worried. Why has he not at least texted me? Well, maybe he's not able to, I don't know. <sighs> Do you know what worries me? Is that this just going to tip him over the edge again? Send him back to his druggy mates? That, that, no, 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 because he promised. Yeah, I know, but... Do you know what? I don't think I'm going to go to Ireland. I think I'm going to ring my mum and dad and cancel. Don't be silly. I'll keep an eye on him. It's supposed to put my mind at rest, is it? Oh. Can, can I just ask you, you know, uh, last week when mm -hmm. you went to see your friend Jeremy? Yeah. Where exactly did you go? Uh, we went to his restaurant in Nutsford where we had a few drinks and then he, uh, he cried on my shoulder. <laughs> uh, restaurant in Nutsford? Yeah. Anywhere else? No. It's just, uh, what's this? I found it in your jacket pocket. Uh, I was taking your jacket to the dry cleaners because I know how particular you are, and uh, emptied the pockets, and there was this Greyhound racing program. I fancy you finding that? I know, fancy. It was at the bar here. Someone must have left it. Oh, and you put it in your pocket? Yeah, I don't know why. Force of habit, I suppose. I was wondering why I did that at the time. Men and the things they put in their pockets. <laughs> Don't be needing that anymore, then. She seems to be keeping a very close eye on you. She wants to take me out to dinner tomorrow night. Well, you know, and the other staff, out of her winnings. And everybody's going out there. Well, not at the same time, no. Otherwise, we'd have to close the place down. <laughs> 
Here he is. Oh, thank goodness for that. Are you all right? <laughs> a lot better than I deserve to be. Another pint, please, Gloria. Oh, right. Bob, I'm sorry for everything. I'm just so sorry. What did she want you for? Sophie, the kindest, most generous person in the world, wanted to forgive me. I made me promise certain things, which I did. Are you going to keep them promises? Yeah. Not that I expect you to believe that, but here I am. I want you to do for us what you did for Roy. What? Fall out with you? <laughs> for his customers. You know, I want you to come and work for me. In the kitchens, we'll start the theme nights again. Uh, say, once a week, see how we go. But why? Well, uh, you were such a success at Roy's. Unappreciated by him, I know. But not by everyone. Can I have a word? You cannot be serious. You nearly got Roy's closed down. Yeah, I've got a licence and he didn't. Well, we just don't need her. I think we do. So, uh, what do you say? I say yes. Oh, how wonderful. Someone who has faith in me. Shall I start tonight? Uh, <laughs> Look, we said we'd call Ramsey. Yeah, I know. I'll go. You stop here. What? For the rest of my life? Never have to see any of them again? <sighs> now we're both going. Tina, just remember, you had every right to say no. Just left it a bit too late, didn't I? Well, should we adjourn? Yeah. And the phrase, we're happy enough. Yeah. Well, that's exactly how it is with me and Deirdre. Not happy, but happy enough. Enough never to go through the disruption of setting up life for somebody else and enough to see it through to the bitter end. Ken, that's awful. Is it? Happy enough? Sounds like you'd be better off being miserable enough. Enough to leave her and then you might have been properly happy with somebody else. <laughs> never know, will I? Oh, I think it's too late. You're too old, clapped out, past it. <laughs> yeah, well, perhaps I am. Well, how does she feel? Did it? Or do you not ask yourself that question? Best not think about it. I think pretty much the same as I am. Happy enough? Yeah. Sounds like you deserve one another. Come in. Let's just listen, all right? No option, have we? Evening. 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 Sit down. <clears throat> Izzy, I'm so sorry. Of course you are. First of all, I just want to say, this was my decision. I talked Tina into it. No, you didn't. Anyway, we both know what it must be like for you, and we're really, really sorry. Well, I don't think you do know. I don't see how you can. Look, we can still talk about this, yeah? We might have missed our slot today, but we can still go back tomorrow, if there's any point. And is there a point? Well, if you mean we're going to change our minds, then no. Tina? Like Tommy said, we've decided. And why? After everything you said before, why? Because if we're going to have a baby, we want it to be ours, not someone else's. Yeah, it's Tina we'd like to hear from, if that's all the same. Yeah, well, Tina doesn't want to talk about it. Is that right, Tina? After all you put them through today, you've got nothing to say. Come on, Abby. Shush, Tommy. Look, I want you to know I had every intention of going through with it. It wasn't like I knew all along I wasn't going to do it. I thought I was. So what stopped you? Me. Tommy told me how much he was against it, and it sort of tipped the balance. Right, so all this was just about your precious feelings, was it? You didn't stop to think about anybody else's. Well, yeah, I No, did, no, no, but... listen to me, listen to me. It was you that stopped this. No, it was me. It wasn't Tommy, it was me. Anyway, look, you can find someone else. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they will, won't you? As if he cares. And anyway, no, we can't, not now. Well, why not? Because before this was all a dream. Someone's worth a try, see what happens. Now I know what happens, and I am never, ever putting myself through that again. Maybe we should just leave it there for now, eh? Yeah, I think maybe you should. Come on. Look, this is all my fault, and I'm... I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, we know you are, love. We all are.
So she forgave him? What she told me. Well, I suppose if you're a Christian. Yeah, which I mustn't be, because I shan't be forgiving him. Can I hear you, you know? I thought you dropped off. Dad, I hope you will forgive him, because I have. How are you feeling? Nothing in my legs, if that's what you're on about. Well, they did say it'd take time. Yeah, if it does ever happen. Yeah, my money's on tomorrow morning. The minute you wake up. visit. Yeah, but you can't just walk in. Well, I just did. <laughs> Listen, there's something we didn't talk about. You mean about us paying you the money back? I do, yeah. He's just let himself in. Hello, love. I, I don't mean to disturb you. We know this means you'll want your money back. Yeah. And the flat. Look, I'm not... I'm not inhuman, so I'm, I'm not gonna make demands that you move out right away, all right, this minute. Let's just say by the end of the week, yeah? Oh, and I want all the money by then as well, every penny. We can't, we haven't got it. Well, you're gonna just have to get it then, aren't you, Sonny? But listen, look, can't we just, you know, pay in instalments? Remind me, did you let my daughter down by instalments? No, I don't think so. Five thousand, and I want you out of the flat by Friday, at the latest. All right. Owen! Owen, we can't, though! What are we gonna do? not just Tommy and Tina with problems. Will it be the end of the road for Lewis and Audrey over his and Gloria's deception? Nigel Havers has the answers at itv.com slash Corrie.